Fire Ice is the latest in cutting edge fire suppression technology. Fire Ice is a versatile tool for direct fire suppression or is a medium term retardant for exposure protection. The effectiveness, ease and versatility of Fire Ice makes fire suppression safer for firefighters, allowing them to do more with less in a resource limited environment. Fire Ice stops fire in its tracks. This video was produced with the permission of the Los Angeles County Fire Department and was shot on location at the Del Valle Regional Fire Training Center in Los Angeles, California. All firefighters involved in active extinguishment of these fire evolutions are California State Certified Firefighters from Advanced Fire and Rescue, utilizing no LA County apparatus or personnel. Fire Ice technical instructors provided strategy and tactics instruction to AFRS personnel prior to evolutions. In this simulated room and content fire, plain water was used to extinguish the fire. The IDLH environment was greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and never dropped below 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Knockdown time was 20 seconds, but because of the steam conversion, the temperature rose greater than the initial temperature reading of 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit from the TIG. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and expands to steam at a rate of 1,700 to 1. Therefore, water alone converts to superheated steam too rapidly and is ineffective, which compromises firefighter safety. In a world that produces synthetic materials which have a faster burn rate and a higher heat release rate, causing flashover within the first 10 minutes, other alternative suppression chemicals are needed to match our current tactics. In this simulated room and content fire, fire ice was used to extinguish the fire. The IDLH environment was greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Within five seconds, the temperature was reduced to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Total time to extinguish with fire ice was nine seconds. Comparing the evolution using water to the evolution using fire ice, the LDLH environment did not fall below 400 degrees Fahrenheit until several minutes after extinguishment. The fire ice evolution reduced the temperature greater than 800 degrees in less than 10 seconds, and the room was ambient temperature within one minute after extinguishment. These results were verified by LA County personnel operating the thermal imaging camera. Fire ice begins to boil at 287 degrees Fahrenheit, thus having a lower steam expansion rate, which allows for better penetration of the thermal layers reaching the seat of the fire without converting to superheated steam making it operationally safer for firefighters. In this evolution, the plan was to demonstrate fire ice's ability to be utilized as a medium-term retardant for protecting structures and foliage in the path of a wildfire in the wildland urban interface. One side of the structure was protected and several trees were coated with a thin layer of fire ice. A thin layer was chosen for this evolution to compare it to what firefighters experience using a 1% foam solution for exposure protection. Prior to ignition, the fuel package had a tarp placed over the fuel to protect it from fire ice so it was ignitable. The fuel package consisted of pallets, cardboard and sagebrush. At the request of LA County Fire, the fuel load was increased to give fire ice a tougher challenge in protecting the structure. After approximately seven minutes of radiant heat and direct flame impingement with temperatures in excess of 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, a reapplication of fire ice was made to the structure. Fourteen minutes into the free burning of the fuel, another application of fire ice was applied to the structure.
temperatures fluctuated between 1,000 and 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. Thermal imaging camera reads hot, indicating the fire is greater than 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, the camera was fixed on the wall of the structure, and the surface temperature never went above 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Fire ice displaced the heat and did not allow transference of heat to the inside wall of the structure. After 20 minutes of direct flame impingement and radiant heat, a third application of fire ice was applied to the structure. Extinguishment of the fuel commences, and within two seconds of spraying fire ice on the fire, all visible flame is gone from the fire, and the area was flooded for 20 seconds. While the unconsumed fuel continued to smoke for several minutes after extinguishment, there was no rekindle of the fire. Fire officers from LA County Fire approached the structure to verify any damage to the structure and check the surface temperature of the wall with their bare hands to ensure the structure was cool to the touch underneath the layer of fire ice that was applied. This was the first time the firefighters from Advanced Fire Rescue had utilized fire ice. Class D metals fires have been a concern for many fire departments throughout the United States, and countless firefighters have been seriously injured because of the explosive effects of these types of fires. Water-based products are ineffective on these fires because they evaporate too rapidly to cool the fuel below its ignition temperature. In this evolution, magnesium shavings laced with cutting oil were used and were extinguished using fire ice. Shavings were used because it's a lighter, flashy fuel that requires little heat to become ignited. Extinguishment of the magnesium fire commences. You will see an initial reaction as fire ice is applied. As the gel coats the magnesium, it immediately reduces the temperature of the burning metal, bringing it below its ignition temperature. It also suffocates the oxygen from the fuel. Magnesium will burn underwater because it robs the water of its oxygen, so it will sustain ignition. With fire ice binding the water molecules together, the metal does not have time to absorb the oxygen supply from the water that's mixed with fire ice. Over one pound of magnesium was extinguished in 10 seconds utilizing less than a half a gallon of fire ice. Once the evolution was complete, an unprotected hand scooped up the fire ice, ash, and unburnt magnesium shavings, which were all cooled to the touch and were presented to the officers present for inspection. To learn more about fire ice, visit us on the web at fireice.com.